All right, welcome everybody. I hope the stream lag isn't too bad as we get ready to start this first match of the night as we have the New Jersey Minutemen going up against the New Jersey Noobs. A, a battle in New Jersey here tonight in bracket or in a round one of bracket play as we take a look at the lineups. For the New Jersey Noobs, they have Banji, Alaster, Iceman, and Rominator. As therefore, for the New Jersey, or that was the New Jersey Minutemen, sorry, not the New Jersey Noobs. For the New Jersey Noobs, they have Blurry, Mr. Duda, Peed Lad, and Robbie Cox 5. Now, the New Jersey Noobs have actually come into this match looking very interesting from group play. They finished second in their group, as Atlanta Terra took Group I, New Jersey Noobs finished second. However, they pulled off a pretty impressive upset victory over the Oklahoma Exotics and have also taken a game off the Atlanta Terror, something that I wasn't really expecting out of them. So, I'll be interested to see what they do in this match here up against the New Jersey Minutemen. The New Jersey Minutemen are a pretty solid squad in their own right. I'm a very big fan of Rom. Rom Minator. I think he's very talented and I'm very interested to see what he will do moving forward. I think the entire New Jersey squad has a decent bit of potential. As I just wait for anybody to show up to the lobby at this point. <laughs> We're just waiting for teams to arrive. Now we can actually take a look at the bracket here while we wait for the teams to show up. This is the bracket that Minutemen and Noobs find themselves in. Whoever wins this matchup will be moving on to face the Boston Baked Beans in the second round. And then lower down the bracket, you, you have the team that you really have to worry about right there at the bottom, the Brooklyn Bandits. That's going to be the team to watch out for in this bracket for sure. They'll be taking on the Typhoons in the first round later tonight. And then you have the Stampede going at, up against the Denver Acclimate. As everybody is filling into the lobby now, all four Minutemen are here. Take a switch back over to the lineup screen. I, I, my, my eyes are just completely focused on the drop frames counter right now. Can't lie. There will be times where it will just hold still for a couple of seconds and you start to think, maybe, just maybe it's fixed itself. And then it starts rising up again. It hurts. It hurts to watch. You know, he's just waiting to see who the fourth here is going to be for the New Jersey Noobs. It looks like the Minutemen will be starting with Rominator, Banji, and Alaster as their starting three in this matchup. I usually see them go with Ice Band, so this is a bit of an interesting change. As it looks like the Noobs will be continuing their lineup from last night, going with Pete Lad, Mr. Duda, and Robbie Cox 5. Everybody to ready up here, and then we will get going. All right, everybody is ready. So let's get this one started. I just realized I forgot to. Uh, you... okay, there we go. All right, <laughs> now it captures it. But I forgot to change the scoreboard here as we get this one started. We've got the New Jersey Minutemen in red and then the New Jersey Noobs in blue. 
They even got really close acronyms, too. One's NJM, and then the other one's NJN. See how similar these two teams are on the ice. As Pete Ladd looking for a chance, gets stopped by Banji. Banji's getting that one up, looks for a chance here, can't get that one on net. I'm still just trying to update the scoreboard here. As Robbie Cox one on one against Alaster, that puck gets sent away, and we are fully underway here. As Banji looking for a pass up, gets stopped by Pete Ladd. Alaster now center ice, takes that shot over Mr. Duda and in. What a shot by Alaster here. Let's take a look back at it. Straight from center ice, right into the noob's net, making it one to nothing. It's now on the faceoff, Alaster skating this puck around, battling with Mr. Dudas center ice. And Robbie Cox will not be the one to come up with that puck, it'll be Rominator. That puck gets sent back to Pete Ladd. Pete Ladd skates it up, takes that shot, Rominator stops it. Rominator skates it back, takes that shot, wide of the net. Yes, the frames are still very much suffering. I've tried to change stream settings. I've tried a lot of stuff, and it is just uh, not working. So, um, I'll take a look at the VOD, but if if it looks bad right now, I'm, I'm passing the stream over to Love, 100%, if it looks bad right now. I'll stream this game, but then the later games tonight, I'll have Love stream. Ramonair taking that shot, it gets blocked. Should I run Streamlabs as an admin? No, but I don't think that should fix it. Doesn't look bad right now. Just every now and again, you see the frames dropping as Mr. Duda sends it back in to the Minutemen's net as they are still missing their third right now. Alaster is gone, and I don't really know why, but I guess they are going to try to play on. Here's the noobs tied up one to one. It fixed it for me. Okay, well then maybe maybe I'll do that in between matches then. I'll try it. Banji battling with Pete Ladd here. That Mr. Dudod sending it back to Robbie Cox. We'll dump it back into the New Jersey Minutemen zone. I'm going to have to start using the team names instead of the uh, location names here. As Banji skates this one up, looks... As Minutemen do have their third back, Laster is back in the lobby. Here's Robbie Cox now looking for a shot. Can't quite find it. It's now Pete Ladd, center ice. That shot wide of the net. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to just... I'm going to stream this match just to... Uh, you know, I'll just continue streaming this match as Rominator shot sent away by Robbie Cox. And then in between matches, I'll try the running as as a admin to see if that fixes anything. And then if it doesn't, I'll probably just have Love take over. Because it's an issue that's just going to bother me, to be honest. <laughs> as Rominator now looking for a shot, it goes wide. Now Banji losing that one on the boards. Mr. Duda losing to Rominator. We'll fight here, get that puck away, lose it. Now Robbie Cox will dump that puck down and back behind the New Jersey net. I should say the Minutemen's net. As the last pass over to Banji. Banji looking. Gets that pass up to Rom. Actually doesn't connect. As that puck gets sent down ice just wide of the Minutemen's net. As now Mr. Dudas skating it around. Can't quite find that shot on net. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm watching Streamlabs for the moment, and I don't want to jinx it, but it's been like a minute. I haven't seen a single drop frame. It has stuck at 3,087 as Robbie Cox has an open net, and the noobs take the lead here of under a minute left as Robbie Cox has full ice in front of him, walks that one in, and makes it 2-1 to one for the New Jersey noobs. As now Pete Ladd, can't get control of that puck there. 45 seconds left, New Jersey noobs up by one. Can they maintain it? Alaster trying to get that pass up, doesn't connect. Dudas sending that one around. Alaster, pass up to Rominator. Rominator, back behind the net. Looking. Takes that shot, Robbie Cox blocks it. Robbie? Pass over to Pete Ladd, intercepted by Banji. Banji can't maintain control of that puck though. 20 seconds left. 
Alaster around boards, finds Banji. Banji will lose control of that one. Alaster gets it up to Robinator. What a shot! We need to see that one again. Robinator with a one on one. Beautiful angle there with 14 seconds left. Ties it up two to two. Now, Banji maybe a chance to take the lead. Looking for it. Lose at the blue line. Sent away by Mr. Duda. Robinator now back behind the Minutemen's net. Skates it around. One last chance. Maybe time expires as that one gets blocked. We have overtime here in game number one. Who will take it? Rominator. Center ice. Gets blocked by Peedlad. Peedlad sends that one down. Alaster stops it. Alaster leaves that puck behind. He's gaining it back now. We'll pass that one up to Rominator. Rominator over to Banji. Banji. From the boards here. Skates this one in. Looks from the corner. Trying to get that pass out in front. He gets blocked. Banji again from the boards. Can't find Rom or Alaster as that one goes all the way back behind the Minutemen's net. Rominator. Sending that one down. Ice Bobby Cox intercepted it, but Banji will come back. Take that puck, Mr. Duda. Barely tips that one away from the net. Alaster, center ice. Duda, good pressure. Passes that one over to Pete Ladd. Pete Ladd looking for a chance. Rominator comes up to try to take control of that puck. Now Robbie Cox sends that one right over to Banji. Now Banji, blue line, weak shot. Duda easily sends that, or not quite easily. Almost gave the Minutemen a chance there. Is now Rominator from the boards. Looking for a chance. Robbie Cox stops it. That puck gets sent away. Blaster. From back behind the net. Can't find Banji on that pass. Mr. Duda looking on the boards. Trying to send that one down. Can't quite do it. Banji now will lose control of that puck. Pass out in front of the noob's net. Sent away by Robbie Cox. Long shot by Rominator. Just wide, but Banji may be a chance here. Robbie Cox on defense. Two of them battling back behind the noob's net. Robbie, good job stopping that one. Trying to take that one up. Boards, Rominator takes control of it. Rominator from the blue line. Peedlad barely stops it, but the rebound stays right on the goal line. And Alaster finishes the job as Mr. Dudok couldn't quite get that one sent away. Game number one goes to the Minutemen 3-2 to here in overtime. As my frames are dropping once again. Rip. Okay, it's weird. So, like, I'm still getting drop frames, but the, like, spikes are longer in between and shorter now. Like, before it was basically constant. Now there's, like, some time in between before they happen. As it looks like Iceman will be taken the place here for a laster. Okay. As we get set to start game number two here. He's off the face off. That puck gets sent away back to Rominator. Rom. Getting set up here for the Minutemen. Scored a very huge goal. 14 seconds left in game number one. Tied it up as Rominator's shot blocked by Robbie Cox. Robbie losing the battle of Rom. Who'll skate it up? Fine, Banji. Banji from the board skates out in front. Misses that shot. Duda. Pass up to Pete Lad. Pete Lad over to the boards. Robbie. Looking. Can't get control of that puck. Rominator. Scanning around, taking that shot. Pete Lad stops it. Iceman now. Can't quite find anything either. That puck gets sent back to the Minutemen zone. Almost into their net. Just wide. Is now Rominator. Skating it up, skating it around, looking for a chance. Takes that shot right over Duda's head and in. Let's take a look at this one again. What a shot by Rominator going top shelf right over that bald dome and making it a one to nothing lead here for the New Jersey Minutemen as Iceman can't quite find that shot. Duda now passing that one up to Robbie Cox. Robbie. Sending that one back towards his own net. P. Ladd trying to dump it away. Rominator sends it back, but Robbie gets in the way of it. Banji around boards. Can't quite find Iceman. Iceman going to just run a screen there. Keep Robbie Cox from getting to this puck, at least not as quickly. It's now Iceman. Pass over. Rominator stolen away by P. Ladd. A weak pass in front of the net there gives P. Ladd a beautiful chance, and he does not miss it. Tying this game up. One to one.
There's Rominator from the boards, looking for a shot, barely missing on that one, has been the sniper for the Minutemen so far here. Definitely a danger with that puck as Iceman trying to get that pass at the Banji doesn't connect, Robbie Cox comes away with it, looks for a chance, sends it around boards to Peed Lad, Peed Lad. Battling on boards here, we'll lose that one to Rominator, Rominator center ice, gets it past Robbie, who will come back to it, sent it away, now Iceman, blue line, we'll lose it, we'll get it back though, we'll pass over to Banji, Banji. In the face-off circle will lose control of that one as it gets dumped back behind the Minutemen's net. Peed Lad looking for a chance. Gets stopped by Rominator. Rominator around boards. Finds Iceman and Mr. Duda. A rare positioning mistake here for the noobs. Let's take a look back at that one as Duda skates just a bit too far out of the net. Allowing that puck to get past him and in and to give the Minutemen the lead 2-1 to one here. Over the New Jersey noobs here in the battle for New Jersey. As Banji looking, that puck gets sent away, but right to Rominator. Rominator skating that one back up. Robbie Cox stops that one as well. Banji from the board, sends it around, finds Rominator. Rominator skating this puck up. Can't quite get that one to Iceman. Iceman around boards, finds Banji. Banji looking for a chance. Will lose control of that one, but Rominator will get that one. Take that shot right off the post. Rominator. Back to Iceman. Iceman will lose control of that one. Robbie Cox trying to send that one in. Gets blocked by Banji. Banji skates this up. Looks for a chance. Gets tipped away by Peed Lad. Rominator, though. Looking for his opportunity here. Gets sent off the side of the net. Now we'll pass that one out to Iceman at center ice. Iceman will lose it to Robbie Cox. He does it again. Just like in game number one. Steals it away and has an open net at the other end to put that one into. And to tie the game up 2-2. Two to two. Of just over two minutes left here in game number two as Rominator shot blocked by Peedlad. Peedlad sends it down ice wide of the net. Banji looking. As Iceman will take control of it, try to get that pass up. Robbie Cox intercepts it. Duda fighting with Rominator. Rominator keeps control of that puck, hits that shot. And the Minutemen have the lead once again here as Rominator powers that one in. Given the Minutemen a 3-2 lead. Now Robbie skates his puck up. Looks for a chance. Shot wide of the net. Banji can't get control of that one. As Peedlad almost finds that angle. And now it will be credited towards Mr. Duda here. Let me see this one again. Iceman and Rominator can't maintain control of that puck. It gets sent back into their own net. And we are tied once again, 3-3, three to three. that pass over to Iceman, Iceman dumps it back behind the noob's net. Mr. Duda, send it around boards, find Peedlad, Peedlad trying to dump it, Rominator stops that, Rominator's pass to Banji, doesn't quite connect, Robbie Cox now, looking, will lose control of that one in front of his own net, and dump it away, Rominator, chance, shot, blocked by Mr. Duda, Mr. Duda skating this one up, sends it around boards, and this one will go right to Banji. Banji will send it back here. As Robbie Cox will take control for the New Jersey noobs. Fighting with Banji on the boards. Banji comes away with it. Takes that shot. Mr. Duda saves it. Duda now sends that puck up ice. Right to Rominator though. Rominator's shot. Does not get sent off as Rominator lost that control of that puck. But he'll get it back. Skate this one up. Also can't find a shot there. Peedlat sends it down ice. Iceman will take control of it here for the Minutemen. 40 seconds left. Get that one up to Rominator. Rominator from the boards. Can't get that one out, but we'll get, maintain control of it here. Go for the wraparound. Can't quite hit it. Now Duda will send that puck away as Iceman will take control here once again for the Minutemen. Under 30 seconds left. Pass over to Banji. Banji, scanning it around, gets it to center ice. Looks, gets sent away by Robbie Cox. Good stop by Iceman. Under 20 seconds left. Robbie Cox trying to get control of that puck. Can't quite do it. Banji, 15 seconds, looking for a chance. Gets stopped by Peedland. Robbie Cox sends that one wide. Robbie Cox will dump that back into his own zone. Mr. Duda will dump it back. And I think that will lead us to overtime once again in game number two. All tied up. 3-3, three to three. who will win it? Here's that one, bounces off a of Rominator, stopped by Banji. Duda now, dumping that puck down. Banji will take control of it. Banji with Duda, Duda steals it away and puts it in! What a move! The noobs take it 4-3! to three. 
What a play by Duda to give them the win here in game number two. We have game three coming up next. The battle for New Jersey has lived up to its name. Two overtime matches. First one going to the Minutemen. Second one going to the New Jersey Noobs. Who will take game three here? All right, let's see it. Game three underway. Pied Lad taking that shot. Rominator stops it. Game one, an overtime victory for the New Jersey Minutemen. Game two, an overtime victory for the New Jersey Noobs. As Rocky B. Cox takes that puck up. Can't quite find Mr. Duda as this one is underway. Rominator loses that one in front of his own net. Mr. Duda just barely missing. One thing I've noticed about the noobs is while they don't create too many offensive chances of their own, they are incredible at capitalizing off other teams' mistakes. As Robbie Cox takes control of that puck, looks for a shot from the boards, gets blocked by Rominator. Rominator now, from in the corner. That puck getting set out in front of the Minutemen's net. Pete Lad shot blocked. In the other corner here, Alaster will control this puck. Pass that one up to Iceman. Iceman will lose control of it here. We'll get it back, though, and we'll dump that puck away right to Mr. Duda. Mr. Duda trying to send that one down boards. Iceman gets in the way. P. Lad looking, taking that shot, gets blocked. Blaster sending that one down boards, gets sent back. <laughs> Just immediately as Iceman now, that pass intercepted by Robbie Cox. Robbie Cox from the boards gets that one to P. Lad. Can't get that one on net, though. Robbie Cox trying to find another pass out. This one got blocked. And you can see Alaster filling in for Banji now. As Pete Lad taking that shot right off the post, Alaster sends it away. Robbie Cox dumps this one back into the Minutemen zone, though. So now Ramonier will try to take control here for the Minutemen, skating it around. That pass to the Iceman doesn't quite connect. Robbie Cox in the corner. Iceman will get that puck away, get it out to Ramonier. Ramonier's shot wide of the net. Duda from the boards. That puck gets sent right over to Robbie Cox. We'll dump that puck away right to Rominator, though, who at center ice skates this one up. Has a chance off the side of the net. Rominator has been a pure sniper with the puck so far tonight. That puck finding its way over to Iceman. Iceman wide. As Alaster now trying to find Iceman on that pass. Doesn't quite connect. Alaster will lose control of it here. P Lad will take control. Skate this one up. Take that shot, Rominator. Good job using that head, making the save. Keeping this one scoreless. Rominator now back behind the Minutemen's net. Gets around Mr. Duda, who's way behind this play here. Rominator shot, though, blocked by Robbie Cox. Alaster just skates this one in. Let's look at the replay here. Holding on to control of this one. Got it past Robbie Cox. Got it past P Lad and into the noob's net. And with two minutes and 35 seconds left, the New Jersey Minutemen take the lead one to nothing over the New Jersey noobs. As Iceman sending that one wide of the net. And I think Alaster is having more connection issues. He's disconnected again as Robinair takes that shot. Robbie Cox takes a shot at his own teammate. After making that save, but Mr. Duda luckily right there to stop it. The Minutemen are down to two once again. Alaster has disconnected. As Robinair is shot blocked by Robbie Cox. Iceman can't get that one on net. Minutemen are doing a great job here, though, keeping up this pressure of only two players as Ramonier is shot blocked by his own teammate. As now Robbie Cox, open net, can't hit it! That was a beautiful chance, but he missed! Now back behind the noob's net, Robbie Cox will pass this one over to Pied Lad. Pied Lad looking for a chance, blocked by Ramonier, will come back, takes that puck, though. Loses again, though. As Rominator shot sent away by Pete Lad. Minute 30. Ro Hell Laster is still gone. Robbie Cox can't get control of that puck. Iceman will look. Can't find that shot. As now Mr. Duda puts it past Rominator and in. I, I don't know where Alaster is. 
But the noobs tie it up one to one. Sadly, the thing is, the last two matches were actually, like, good. But... This one has been uh, kind of disappointing. Because of the uh, lack of a third here for the Minutemen. It's Rominator looking for a chance here. Still down 2v3, shot wide of the net. Alright, Alastair's back. Alastair has returned here. The Minutemen are back at full strength. There's now Alastair from the boards. 40 seconds left. This game tied 1-1. One one. Will we see our third overtime of the series? As Rominaire launch shot sent away by Robbie Cox. Now Rominator, stopped by Peedlad. 30 seconds left. Peedlad shot stopped by Alastair. Alastair looking for a chance here. Gets that one up to Rominator who puts it in with 25 seconds left. Let's take a look back at this one. What a pass by Alastair and what a shot by Rominator. To make it a 2-1 game with 25 seconds left. As Robbie Cox stops that one. Can the noobs find a way to tie it back up? Iceman from behind the net sends it around. Robbie Cox gets it out in front. Nobody there though. Mr. Duda from the boards. Lose it to Rominator who skates it around. Will just take his time with this one. Ragged against the boards as the Minutemen will take this game 2-1. And will take this series by the same score. Good games all around. The men men able to hold on and take the series. So once again, your final score for that series, 2-1. to one, The New Jersey men, Minutemen take it over the New Jersey Noobs. Win that battle in New Jersey. As coming up next, we have the Houston, or we have the Michigan Mallers going up against the Houston Hot Boxers. That match will be starting in about half, or actually exactly half an hour from now. And I'm also going to try, I'll, well first let me update the graphic in the background here. There we go. But I'm also going to try to restart the stream one more time. I want to try out some new uh, settings. I can I can mute myself before I sneeze. <laughs> Anyways, I, I want to try out some new settings real quick. See if I'm still dropping as many frames as I am right now. Right now I'm at like around 6%, which is not that bad. I think that's doable. So if I can up some settings and stay around 6%, I'll be happy. So I'm going to quickly stop the stream, change some settings, and restart it, see how it looks. So uh, don't go anywhere. You might have...